What police say happened is absolutely horrific. It is, Jennifer. It's actually a nightmare. It was a random Tuesday. Stephen Cosby walked into work and he never walked out. Instead, police say that his killer removed his body. But, you know, Stephen was so much more than what happened to him. And that's really the message that Stephen Cosby's husband, Michael Montgomery, wants to get across to everyone at home tonight. What do you want the world to know about Stephen Cosby? Oh, that he was just so much more than what happened to him. He was brilliant, he was hilarious, he was kind. Uh, he could be a fighter when he needed to be. He was just so much braver than I was. You know, I was, for me, it was just like, um, you know, I've, I've always just been afraid in my life of like silly things, you know, and he was just my comfort. It's like, the, this is the scariest thing I've ever gone in through my life. But Michael is being so brave now. Now, according to Largo PD, last month, Stephen went to the restroom at work. Then he just simply vanished. They have not found his body, but they have charged local plastic surgeon Tomas Kosowski with murder. Now, police say the doctor and Stephen were embroiled in a contentious lawsuit about medical billing. In my interview with Stephen's husband, Michael, he talked about how much Stephen loved to help other people, that he believed in being a human being first and a lawyer second. That is the message that he had during his law school graduation during a speech. Now, Michael and Stephen were married in 2020. They were building such a beautiful life together, Jennifer, when it was so tragically, so horrifically cut mm -hmm. short. Unimaginable pain that he's experienced. Is there an update on the search for Stephen's body at this point? I reached out to Largo PD. There's no update at all, but his family does tell me that they are so happy with law enforcement. Immediately, the detectives took it seriously, and as we reported, four days after Stephen went missing, they were able to make an arrest. And I know you had a connection with Stephen. You both went to high school together, and coming up at 6, you're sharing all the good in his life. That's exactly right. It's extremely emotional. We tried to capture who Stephen was. We tried to honor his life. We tried to celebrate his life all in four minutes, you know, television. But I think we were able to do that. So I encourage everyone to tune in. I want to thank my mentor, Steve Andrews, for helping with the story because it was a very difficult one for me to do. Yeah.